Today, we are going to talk about creating and editing flags within Operation Center. Flags give customers the ability to mark locations in their field where there are obstacles, obstructions, areas that need noted, such as weeds or wet spots, or lines that have tiling or pipe through the field. To create a flag, we go into Land Manager and select the Add button at the top of the column. We have three different types of flags, area, line, and point. For this first one, we will use a point flag to mark a big rock we noticed while we were planting the field. Then we select the field we want to place the flag in and click Next. We can then go and drop the flag in the field where we noticed the rock. The column on the right asks for the category once the flag is created. We can customize this list to whatever we would like our flag types to be. We can go back and change categories later if needed. We will select a rock for this flag and put a note to avoid, then click Save. Next, we need to draw a line flag. There is some irrigation pipe running through the field that we want operators to be aware of. We can do this by going through the same process. Select the Add button, Flag, then Line Flag, select the field, and click Next. We will draw the line flag and categorize it, name it, and click Save. The last type of flag we will use is an area flag. This will allow us to mark out a weed patch in a field we want to spray. We will go through the same process of adding the previous flags, except we will select area flag, then select an area, and categorize the flag. Another feature that OpCenter allows us to do is click on any of these flags and edit them. Whether we need to move, expand, or reroute a flag, all of these capabilities are in OpCenter. Note, only line and point flags created within the display and imported to OpCenter are currently editable in OpCenter. We cannot edit area flags created in the display. Once the flags are where we want them in OpCenter, we can export them through Setup Builder to our display, but the display must be on software version 18.2 or better. Thanks for watching.